demonstrating the production of silk fabric. Mm. You know, silk, silk is a textile. Okay. And it is the most expensive fabric in the world. Okay. So that is what we are doing here. It is a complex process mm. that starts from by you planting uh, a crop mm. called mulberry, mm. which we use the cuttings to mm. plant. Mm. So after planting this, mm. when it is six, seven, eight months, mm. we start now doing what we call rearing of silk worms. Mm. And this is now the thing that gives you the silk. Okay. So the silkworm uh, goes through a process, mm. a complete metamorphosis. Mm. Now, it starts with the eggs, mm. you hatch the silkworm eggs, mm. they hatch into a larva. A larva, this is the small stage two. Oh. This one started the second stage yesterday. Okay. So the larva goes mm. through five stages. Mm. The first stage, they finish three days mm. when they are feeding. They are too tiny. Mm. They are feeding on the mulberry, tender mulberry leaves. Mm. And then they move to the second stage, which this one started. But before they move to the second stage, they go into a dormant stage, mm. which we call molting, mm. for two days. Mm. They sleep. Mm. They don't do anything. They don't eat. They are just there. Dormant as they shed off the first skin. Mm. And then they start the second stage. This is okay. the second stage. The size keeps increasing as you feed them. Okay. So, they move on to up to the fifth stage. Now, this is the fifth stage. Mm. Now, this stage, they are supposed to start spinning, or producing the thread. Mm. They cocoon themselves inside, in preparation for the pupa stage, okay. which we don't allow them to get to. Mm. Once they finish cocooning, they produce what we call a cocoon. This is a thread. It is a thread which is between uh, 1,000 meters and 1,500 meters, which is one kilometer to 1,000. I mean, 1.5 kilometers long. One cac one silk This is that thread. Wow. So once the seven days are over of mm. winding the, the the wrapping itself with the, that thread, mm. we now terminate the process life cycle by pulling we put the cocoon frames to mm. guide them so each one colonizes mm. a spot here if we don't use the wooden ones mm. we use the plastic ones okay. if we don't use the plastic ones we also use the banana leaves the dry banana leaves mm. as long as you give them something that guides them to mm. work themselves to use that, that thread mm. so the whole process from the silkworm rearing to production of cocoons mm. takes 28 days. So now we need to dry the cocoons. Mm. What you do when they pull these frames out, these ones, and they dry, and the silkworm inside dies. Mm. So from there, now you can see we have the cocoons. I've produced our cocoons. So, so next, each cocoon there is approximately one kilo. Mr. Alone. Yes, the thread. Produced by one worm. One, one worm. So, that process is over. Mm. The value chain, mm. which is really of the silk, to produce what we call silk yarn. Mm. So, uh, what you see here are the different uh, tools locally fabricated. Mm to guide our farmers and make them add value to their products. Now the president is always talking about value addition. Mm -hmm. So that is why we decided to come up with a, a hand drilling machine or a pedal machine okay. to help a local farmer at his home do the drilling. So what the farmer does basically is boil these cocoons. Mm -hmm. Once you boil them in a saucepan, you the thread will start peeling. So for how long do you have to boil them? As long as your water is boiling, the thread starts peeling. Because there's a gum here, mm. you need to separate. Oh, so okay. the thread starts peeling. When the thread starts peeling, mm. your saucepan will be down. Mm. You push that thread from here, of course, with many cocoons. You only need one, and the others will now join. You push it from here, and then you start, start. running. 
so the thread will now keep coming continuously even others other cocoons now that are in the saucepan until they are all out so you will have what we call the silkian oh. so these oh. are the different you know these are the different cocoons with their threads oh, really strong. yeah so this is now what we call the silkian so from here as i told you we have different machinery mm. uh, this one we got it from our partners this one is made from India, mm. from our partners, the metallic one, but now our engineers can. So the other one is the locally this, made this one. one. This wooden ones are locally made, and then we have the one that is powered by electricity, okay. which we made ourselves. Wow, wow, wow. We made ourselves. So that one, we use electricity to run the motors, to do the drilling, but we use the gas to boil the cocoon. So that one alone, as you so can the, see. So I'm saying it can be operated by different five people. Five different people. Yes. Okay. That alone has five people running it. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you move, you can see these are different textures of, uh, of the silky yarn. You can see this texture. This one, different. Why? Why is it different? Uh, after reeling, the mm. first stage, you do what we call re reeling. Mm -hmm. Re reeling. Mm -hmm. uh, this machine does both reeling from this side mm. and the other side it does reeling. It's like purif purifying. purifying until you get the different textures. Okay. Now, from there, oh. you can now see uh, the different textures of the yarn. These are now different textures of silk. You come back to until you reach to the wool now. This is now the wool, yes. and your garment oh. now is almost here. Wow, this is so soft yes. compared to the other one. Yes. That yes. Do you have? Do you add some chemicals or no. to make it soft or no? You don't the add process. You don't add any chemical. It is just a process of reeling and re reeling until you get this texture. Okay. Now, from there, from here, you're now. About so to if, do if, if 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 you're to uh, to to approximate how many worms like did this one? Like uh, how? This one, one, one yarn, one uh, kilogram mm -hmm. yarn. You need seven kilograms of cocoons to get to here. Okay. So seven kilograms of cocoons in you two. To that. Okay. Yeah. That's great. That's so good. now, when you reach here, mm -hmm. you are now able to. Do your weaving. Now weaving is a process of producing the fabrics. So from the weaving, you're producing your fabrics, you know? Producing your fabrics wow. and then comes... So these are the fabrics from... From, from, from the silk, the, 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 the cocoons wow. to the fabrics now. Okay. So now you do the dyeing and, and wow. people doing different art. They now wow. come in to produce different, different products. Now these products, mm. when we were doing the testing of mm. our, our cocoons, mm. because this is something that we are trying to do, we had to get partners. Mm. China, is, China is the number one silk producer in the world. Mm. They are running out of land. They are running out of resources. And they don't have land to grow mulberry because of their population. They are followed by India, which is also producing silk. But they are not producing enough. They don't have land because of their population also. Plus in Uganda, we have the land, we have the good climatic conditions that enable us to produce throughout the year. So that gives us an advantage of even coming up to the top three in the world when it comes to silk production. So we needed to test can they be competitive in the world market? We took our cocoons, the samples of our cocoons, to our partners in China, and they produced for us these products. And now they want to work with us. Wow. So these are different products. You know, you have pillows. So these are all products for the Yeah, the hands 
and the shirts, okay. the nightwears, everything. Okay. So, uh, from the process that you've shown us, this is like the only stage where you can't produce. Like, can you produce this out yourself? No, like from we here, are installing this? the machinery for this. Okay. We acquired uh, machinery from China. Next generation machinery acquired from China, and we are doing the installation to stations in the country. One station in Shima, another one in Eastern Uganda. So they are doing the installation of this machinery. With the, the Chinese themselves are doing helping us do the installation, and they are also training our manpower to run the machines because they are state of the art machines. So they are training our manpower to also produce this, and uh, hopefully in the next, you know, next year, early next year, we have the raw material. Mm. We are going to have this. Okay. So where are you located? Like in Uganda? In Uganda, we have different stations across the country. We are in over 21 districts across the country, but our head office is in Mokono. Okay. So um, are you doing this as an individual it's a, or it's a government project? Uh, government funded us and uh, the Ministry of Science and Technology received some funding. Okay. So, are you, if someone is interested to study more, to learn more about this whole thing, do 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 do, do you have a program for them, or is it still? That is why we established the research, what we call our research station mm. across the country. Uh, anyone who wants to get on board, please don't be left out. We are. Having people who are ready to help you with whatever information you need, whatever we need, if you need the stem cuttings for the mulberry, we are there. If you need the silkworm eggs, we are there. If you need any advice, any technical advice, we are there. We already have farmers, hundreds of farmers have already come on board and they have planted mulberry. Others have started rearing the silkworm. The silk bombs to produce the cocoons. Okay. Yeah. So, so you haven't told me about the the, the, the problems first, like in the other process of uh, of uh, the mulberry, the worms. What are the challenges that someone needs to know they while all, they are growing them? They are all life. Mm. Mulberry is life, mm -hmm. which needs you to watch out with pests and diseases. Mm. If you don't, then they will die. Mm. But uh, the varieties that we have, we have seven varieties of mulberry in the country. Mm. They are resistant, apart from a few you know, drops of diseases that come in and out, especially uh, the, 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 the leaf spots mm. for mulberry. The silkworms, all you need to do is have what we call the rearing house, because they don't stay anywhere. Mm -hmm. You have to have a rearing house. So we have different models of rearing houses. As depending on your money. If you have enough money to construct a permanent structure, mm. just like chicken, the way you rear chicken in, in, in the house, this uh, also need to be reared inside the house. And you have to, that house needs to have uh, certain specifications because they survive or they do well at a temperature of between 24 to 28, 29. Mm. If they go beyond that or below that, they are not going to do well. So you need, your house needs to be uh, well protected. Also, the rats, mm. they are very humble creatures. Mm. The rats can get to them and destroy all of them. Or the ants, the black ants, can get to them and destroy all of them. So you need to be observant. So you need that. But also, it is you know, labor intensive. Mm. It's a very labor, labor intensive project where you need people. You need people to help you plant. Mulberry. You need people to help you maintain the mulberry garden. You need people to help you harvest the leaves to feed the silkworm. Mm. So every stage that you reach, you need someone to help you do it. So in so doing, you're also creating employment for them. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So those are basically the key challenges. So, so if I want to start up a business like this, or so 
something like this how much money do i like need to to do at least a process of growing them in uh, the least you can have is one acre of land mm -hmm. and in one acre of land all you need to do is plow your land get the cuttings the stem cuttings and plants weed maybe two three times before you start harvesting so that depends now on the labor costs mm. in your car in your places of work but you really don't need much mm. you really don't need much very little and you're able to sustain okay yeah. okay so if someone wants to reach out to you please can you give us like more information yeah we are located in uh, in, in, in Mukono, mm. Namasumbi. Mm. Uh, we also have a, a place along along Kalaji, Gayaza Road. Mm. Uh, it's the signpost is written and Dudu. You can reach out to us there and get much information. But also we have our contact information here. Uh, yeah. We have our contact information okay. here that people can get to and ask any questions. Okay, you say Mr. You? Mr. Joseph. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. okay. So that machine, mm. we are About trying to we are trying to see water. how we are producing the, the threads you so much from for everything that the banana done. stems. Mm. To this point, the banana stems come from the climax, which is the, climax, the, which is the world's strong highest day for peace. So we want to and see development. the production of the banana and we'll stems have a number of man, fiber from the banana stems. Mm. And we incorporate it into now, for those of us what type of fabric can we make? We have a lot of bananas in the world. Once people harvest the banana, the stem is wasted. Mm. Or it is given to animals and the tree. But that is a rich gold mine we are sitting in. So that is and where nine. we are going. So we have that machine mm. that is power. And we will power. use one pair of avenues. Slice the stem, peel it, push it, and it gives if you. If you come with a vehicle, as soon as you come, it is on the turn on your right, okay. and hopefully we are getting there. Is, the, is the machine locally made, or yeah, it's, it's turn on your right, park in the green, okay, and then go oh, and go through so the tree head. The security will require you first to be on the list, so you need to confirm with your immediate supervisor whether you are on the list. Or if you're next. The thing you required you will be required to have a negative COVID test. And so if you're already on the list, make sure that you were tested and the protocol will have a list. It's also very important that you do not come with your phone tomorrow. Do not come with your phones tomorrow. Phones will not be allowed. Thank you for raising the bar of science technology and innovation as a going to the If it comes from the mouth, it has started producing that Because we are punishing them by being here, they are supposed to be in the other place to produce this. Mm. This is their final stage. They are. They need to go. Apart from the ones that are feeding, mm. but others are already. <laughs> so the. So now they are trying to cocoon, eh? Yes. And then it, it does it make butterflies or like? Yeah. If you leave it, mm. it becomes a butterfly. Which mm. becomes a butterfly. It looks for the female. The male looks for the female. They mate. They produce the eggs and they die. Mm. Okay. Sad story. Thank <laughs> you.